In the early 2000s, Honda pioneered the use of hydrogen fuel cell-powered vehicles, starting with the FCX V3 as the official pace car for the Los Angeles Marathon in 2000. By 2002, Los Angeles became Honda's first commercial customer for a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. And in 2005, Honda leased its evolved FCX to the first non-fleet customer. However, despite Honda's advancements, General Motors had already developed a functioning hydrogen fuel cell-powered vehicle, the Electrovan, in 1966. The 1966 GM Electrovan was an electric van adapted from a production GMC handy van and powered by fuel cells instead of conventional batteries. Fuel cells convert stored chemical energy into electricity via electrochemical reactions. In modern hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, only an external source of hydrogen is required, as the oxygen is drawn from the air. This process produces only water vapor and heat as waste products, making it environmentally friendly compared to fossil fuels. Honda's FCX Clarity, for example, uses a fuel cell process in which hydrogen is fed into the anode, splitting into electrons and protons. The electrons produce electricity through a circuit, while the protons pass through an electrolytic membrane and combine with oxygen molecules in the cathode. As the hydrogen electrons enter the cathode, they also combine with oxygen, resulting in water vapor. Fuel cells have been in use since the 1800s, and before the development of the GM Electrovan, they powered systems aboard NASA's Gemini spacecraft. However, the Electrovan's fuel cell system was more complex and bulky than those used in conventional hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. It required three onboard tanks for liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen, and electrolyte potassium hydroxide. Both the liquid oxygen and hydrogen were kept at sub-zero temperatures, and the potassium hydroxide could produce brilliant fireworks when it leaked, posing safety concerns. Despite these challenges, the Electrovan was an impressive feat of engineering, with a range of 100-150 miles on full tanks and a top speed of 70 miles per hour. However, the project was scrapped soon after its reveal due to the high cost of platinum used in the fuel cell's construction, the complexity of the fuel cell system, and the absence of a hydrogen infrastructure. Since then, General Motors has continued to explore fuel cell technology, filing more patents between 2002 and 2012 than any other automaker and entering into a cooperative agreement with Honda in July 2013 to develop fuel cell technology for future vehicles. The Electrovan may be remembered as the fuel cell vehicle that started it all,